We are going to be drawing this cute little reindeer, uh, little Rudolph, um, baby Rudolph. Uh, that's what we're going to be doing this week. Uh, we will be using crayons and markers to do this and brown paper. So you can either make your little Rudolph with little Christmas lights hanging down around his neck or you can actually give him some little antlers, even though a lot of babies don't have antlers, but that's okay, and put them in his little antlers. Because when we're artists, we use our imagination, right? So that's okay. We can do whatever we want in our artist world. Okay, so today you're going to have a brown piece of paper. You have all the markers you need, and you will need a white crayon for highlights and snow. So the very first thing you're going to do, you will be using pencil. I am going to be using a marker so that you can see. Make sure your paper is hamburger style. All right, so the very first thing we're going to do is we're going to make the nose. And you're going to come to about here on your paper because we want to leave room for his ears. And we need to leave room for a little snow mound. So we're going to come to about right here. And we're going to do a pretty big size nose. We want it kind of big. It is Rudolph, so we do kind of want that to be our uh, emphasis. Okay, and then we're going to give him a reflective light. All right, so we're going to come to the side of the circle. We're just going to draw two lines up, almost like a little square or a rectangle, and we're going to connect it. We're going to come to about here, and we're going to slant out. Remember, he is symmetrical. If I do on one side, I'm going to have to do on the other. I'm going to slant. And you want to make sure that these are about the same place. All right, we're going to draw the eyes. We're going to slant in, slant in. Again, you want them to be about the same. You're going to slant back out, slant back out. I'm going to draw a parallel line here. And you want to go through that line. These are the eyelids. Again, a parallel line, and you want it to come in just a little bit and connect it. All right. Then we're going to do curved lines on each side. We want to actually do a little tiny curve here because we want that to be white. I'm going to draw the iris of the eye. And then we're going to do a little reflective light here and there. Okay, and you might want to air draw this first. We're just going to do a little curved line to, to make the forehead. Okay, we're going to draw the ear right at the top of the eye. We're going to curve down. My ear will be coming off the page a little. About mid-eye, swing up shadow line. Top of the eyelid, curve down, mid-eye curve up, shadow line. And we're going to do some little eyelashes right here on the ends of the eyelids. You want them just on the ends, kind of crisscross, just a few little eyelashes right there on the ends of the eye. Okay, we're going to come to about mid-head, and we're just going to draw a slanted line back. Okay, we're going to come to about here, and we're going to draw a slanted line down. We're going to draw another slanted line, but we're not going to go quite as far. We actually want one longer, the top one longer than the other, and we're going to slant back. We're going to slant back. That's going to create that little foot. Okay, we're going to come to about here. We're going to go across. We're going to come to the bottom of the nose. We're going to come across, but we're going to actually put a curved line on the end. So there's a little leg up under him. All right, we're going to come up to about here. We're going to draw a line, but this time we're going to slant back. And then we're going to slant back. That's his other foot. That just gives it some dimension. 
these will be colored in brown. Okay, so now we're going to draw his body. And again, if you want to air draw it first, that kind of just helps your finger in the rhythm. So we're just going to come to the top here and we're just going to do almost like a backwards C and we're going to connect it to about mid leg. Perfect. All right, so now we are going to make sure that I've not missed any details. Let's see. All right, if you wanted to add a tail, you can just have a tail come off of the page. And I think their tails almost go into like a little uh, V up at the top. You can do as a little tail however you want, but if you want it to just kind of come off the page, just to kind of give the impression that he has a tail. All right, so now we're going to do the details. What you will need to do first, you will need to get a red you will need to color in his nose. I'm actually even going to trace that brown nose red just because I had to use brown. Perfect. And I'm going to go ahead and get my brown and I'm going to go ahead and fill in his eye here. So all of this will be brown. Don't color in as reflective light. Got really dark eyes. Perfect. Okay, you will then get a white crayon. You are going to color in his reflective light and his nose. His reflective light in his eye. His eyelids need to be white. I'm going to go ahead and do white eyelids. We're actually going to just kind of give him a highlight in his ear right up underneath. We forgot his spots. Baby deer have spots. You want them, you don't want them all the same size. You want to randomly place them, some big, some small, some medium. You don't want too many, just a few. These deer actually lose their spots when they get older. You will color them white. Okay, so you're going to color all of them white. All right, now you're going to get your brown marker and we are going to add these lights. Now, you can either put them around his neck or if you want to give him little antlers, you can just kind of wrap some in his little antlers. Um, I'm actually going to just put, put them around his neck. So what you're going to do is you're just going to come down around here and you can put these however you want. I had some really creative ones yesterday. And then maybe you want it to go out here. Maybe I want them to come off the page here. Perfect. All right. Now, what to make the Christmas lights? Christmas lights almost have, they're almost, you're going to make them almost like you would a leaf, but they're actually kind of pointy at the bottom. So I'm going to come to the, on my little cord here, I'm going to curve out, and you can make these as big or small as you would like, and I'm going to do an opposite curve, just like if I was going to make a leaf. But then I'm going to put a point on it, okay? Now watch, now whenever I fill it in, it looks like Christmas light. Okay, and you can do whatever colors you would like. I have all kinds of different colors. And make sure you put them on different sides of the cord because sometimes they fall in both directions. So you want to make sure that you have them 
on both sides. And you can use whatever colors you would like to do your lights. When you're done doing your lights, I'm going to pause this because then we're going to do a mound of snow. Okay, so I finished coloring. I did my Christmas lights and I also finished coloring my white spots. Don't forget to come up underneath the eye and do that white as well. And then I'm going to put him, I'm going to actually, I don't want a floating, we call that a floating reindeer. So we don't want a floating deer, fawn, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to put him on a mound of snow. And you can do that however you want. I had some really creative backgrounds. So I'm going to, now I'm going to do this fast. You'll take your time. I'm going to put him on snow. And I even had some people do some little trees in the background. It was really cute. They were real creative. I had one do a little tiny snowman off in the back. So you can be creative and do whatever you would like. So maybe I want a tree here. And maybe I want... Maybe I want to do a little tree here, off in the background. Um, and then don't forget, we have to do our snowflakes. And you want these different sizes. If you notice I don't do this, I actually press and pull down. And you also want them over the deer, because if the deer was actually laying there, you would see snowflakes falling in front of him. So make sure you put them over his body also. So this is what it should look like when you're done. Be creative. You can put whatever you want in the background after you make it and color it. All right, have fun.